आर यू फॉलोइंग यस आई मीन आर ऑन द सेम पेज ना हाँ जिन में विदाउट ऑडियो भी ज्वाइन करते हैं क्या अच्छा ठीक है चलो सो आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम वेयर वी लेफ्ट ऑन द लास्ट सेशन आई होप यू ऑल गेट वॉट वी वॉट यू आर डिस्कसिंग इन द लास्ट सेशन सो Yeah, quickly is my screen visible to you all? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, what we did in the last class was we created this P and L statement. If you can rightly recall it. so uh, we copied all the data from this database these mapping sheets and then we uh, we removed the duplicates and final result uh, left with us was like this and we arranged it in a way uh, so that it look likes a p and l statement account okay so far so good so uh, now what we have to do is like uh, we got this format of our p and l statement where in our net sales net revenue gross margin and then ebi dta hello so uh, yeah so these are our, our con components of a p and l account now what we have to do like we have to create a p and l statement out of uh, what we have been doing so far okay so now we have to give it a little formatting uh, so you i am i i am pretty sure that you all aware about all these Uh, all these terms appearing in this p and l statement so uh, first thing first we have to like like uh, use uh, the uh, the heading for our p and l account which is uh, like uh, our data would be in euros and in millions our data is in millions okay and what we have to do we have to create it like for financial year 16 financial year 17 and financial year 18 for these three years we have to create uh, our p and l account okay so uh, basically this exercise is all about formatting uh, if you can read the name of the sheet is formatting a p and l account so Uh, what we have to do is to uh, make this uh, this sheet in a way so that we can uh, we can uh, uh, we can you know drag our data from the excel uh, from the sheets from the financial statements we uh, we created uh, the uh, the uh, the database which have been provided to us for the year two thousand sixteen seventeen and eighteen. Okay, so uh, what we have to do. uh so like uh, okay so this would be our heading so what i'll do i'll i'll just click right click in here and go to the format cells can you see it this is the format cell so yeah typically it would be here so if it uh, what i have to do i have to create a border for it so i would you can choose a number of colors ठीक है, आई विल गो विद लाइक डार्क ब्लू एंड लाइन स्टाइल आर यू नो देर यू कैन सी आर डिफरेंट लाइन स्टाइल्स ऑल्सो देर आई वुड गो विद दिस और लाइक दिस ओके एंड आई वॉन्ट माई लाइन टू बी शोन हेयर एट दिटेक्स एंड आई विल जस्ट हिट द ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट 
the our headings have been uh, you know segregated from the different cells in the sheet okay i hope you are getting it and uh, the other things i can do uh, in terms of formatting that i can make them bold so this is bold i can change the fill color to blue also so i am like little color blind but i know you can uh, easily identify that now our uh, top uh, cell or the headings of the statement are like in blue dark blue okay now what we have to do like uh, we'll have to go to you know uh, net sales ho jayega fir revenues aayega fir total revenues aayega so total revenues will go to like uh, the top top border you can give it just go to table and then top border see so now if uh, if uh, we want to have the total revenues so our total revenues would be out of like three things net sales other revenues and recharges so these are our incomes uh, so it would be our like total revenue okay and then uh, fir ab now we will have cost gross margin so if we will uh, you know deduct the uh, cost then we will have this uh, so what i can do is like i'll just copy it and in the gross margin cell i'll paste special as the format because i want to segregate this also see you can see it and then uh, gross margin would be there then of expenses personal expenses leasing services travel cost other income capitalized cost and then ebitda so this here we need cell also then i'll paste with a uh paste formatting option i'll have a line here also and then after deducting depreciation and amortization ebidt so i'll paste here i'm taking it really slow i hope you are getting it na uh formatting we can choose it then ebidt i'll paste special with the formatting okay so this is like uh, somehow our Uh, so this is this is the way to you know uh, converting our sheet into blocks okay and uh, then uh, for net income what uh, what we can do like we can choose because this is important we will go and we can choose a lot of options from here based on our you know our our requirement i'll go with thick top bottom top and thick bottom border okay i'll bold it this is the bold okay yeah so see uh so uh, i mean uh, it uh, it would look like little nicer the way it was initially uh, are you agree with me or do you agree yes sir yeah so so this is how it is done and one more thing we can also do like we can you know change it based on our understanding and how we want to you know present our data but typically i prefer to put our my numbers on the right side of it so i just you can like keep it in the middle or extreme left but right also so yeah this is uh, one way of doing it Uh, ebdit is also like it is important we will bold it and uh, blue we can also convert, change the color of it yeah so this is how it is done basically now what we have to do we have to create uh, the sum function because what is our total revenue total revenue is equals to sum sum of what sum of these three cells okay and what is our gross margin gross margin is like sum of what total revenues and total cost oh sorry direct cost okay 
and what is our ebi dta ebi tda is equals to some sum of gross margin and all these things okay and what is our ebi uh, ebit is equals to sum ebi dta or e and then what is our ebt is equals to sum and these numbers and what is uh, our net income would be like sum these numbers uh, so man, uh, i hope you got it uh, this is the simple uh, sum function i have used in here okay so uh, now uh, the most important element of it like to uh, to you know to bring all this uh, i mean to populate the p and l account sheet uh, by using the sum if formula i hope it is clear to you and i'll in the next sheet i will show you how to what is this formatting left just let me check there is another uh, this is only after kya there for but no formatting is left okay usme theek hai ha ye this is like some function i showed it to you i kept it for here only but i told you that in that sheet also so this is uh, the formatting type and then this is uh, this is our inserting नहीं यार कुछ तो गलत हो रहा है चार्ट क्यों हो गया कुछ आगे पीछे हो गया क्या जस्ट मी अ मिनट फॉर्मेटिंग फॉर्मेटिंग मॉडिफाइंग डोनेट जस्ट एक मिनट ना एक सेकंड जस्ट मुझे दो चेक एक शीट मिसिंग है इसमें वैसे हम उसमें भी कर सकते हैं अगर नहीं मिलता है अभी तो फिर मैं उसी में करके दिखाता हूँ बट इट वुड बी बेटर इफ यू नो वी डू इट द वे आई प्रिपेयर इट कुछ बोलना हो कुछ पूछना हो तो यू कैन गो एड फॉर्मेटिंग क्या कर रहा हूँ मैपिंग बिल्डिंग फॉर्मेटिंग ही तो है हम्म सब कुछ सही है आई जस्ट क्रिएटेड अ मैस इनसाइड माय हेड ओनली या दिस इज द शीट ओनली बिकॉज़ आई कुडंट गिव इट अ नेम प्रॉपर नेम दैट इज व्हाई ये हां सो दिस इज लाइक फॉर्मेटिंग ओनली बट दिस इज लाइक फॉर यू नो इफ इन केस आई वांट टू पॉपुलेट द शीट पॉपुलेट द डेटा फॉर आवर पीएनएल अकाउंट ठीक है सो दिस इज द मोस्ट क्रूशल पार्ट ऑफ इट यू नो आई मीन आई टोल्ड यू लाइक सिंस इफ यू कैन लुक हेयर ना आई टोल्ड दिस वाज द इनिशियल डेटा फॉर अस एंड देन वी क्लीन द डेटा एंड देन यू नो जनरेट अ कोड एंड ऑल द थिंग्स वी हैव डन नाउ इवेंचुअली यू नो वी क्रिएटेड दिस डेटाबेस एंड देन एंड देन वी क्रिएटेड दिस पी एंड एल स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट Uh, in which we you know we have to understand how to populate the data uh, given in our uh, in our in different sheets okay so uh, th this can be done by using the sum if formula so if i use the sum if formula so the uh, it asks for three things it asks for the range okay so uh, what is the range uh, for our data and it asks for the you know 
um, criteria and then the sum range. Okay, so now uh, what we have to do, we have to see what is our criteria range. So criteria range is like in the database. This is uh, what is our criteria is our criteria is like we have to map these things. So this uh, mapping database is our criteria. I'll just fix this. This is criteria range for our for our analysis. Okay. And then what we have to do, what we have to uh, put us criteria for it. And our criteria would be like net sales we are looking for. So this is like uh, net sales. I hope you are getting it and I'll just fix it. Fix the column reference. This is our uh, first criteria. And now what we have to do, we have to uh, look for the some range of it. So some range is uh, in the database and it is in the column F because we are looking it for the financial year 16. Okay. I'll just close down this and I'll just hit the enter. So here we got the result. So uh, what it is showing, it is showing that in the financial year 2016, our net sales was in this, uh, whatever numbers is uh, this is, which is visible on your screens. Uh, got it or you want me to repeat it? I mean, I have any confusion regarding it, how, how I populated this data, because you know, you only need to get one number you just uh, copy the formula and you will get the answers, right? So any confusion so far? No, sir. Yeah. Or other, other than you, you uh, to Yes, sir. Uske, uh, uske alawa, yes, sir. Any responses? Rohan, Chinme, Chitanya, Deepika, Mayuri, Nikita, anyone? Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, what I'll do, I'll prepare a test for you if you are not, if you are like this uh, inactive during the class, at least that way I'll get, I'll have a fair idea that how much you are getting out of what I am uh, teaching you. Because there is no way of knowing ki, you are following what I've been taught to you or not. So uh, I'll just assume <clears throat> that you are getting what I am, uh, <coughs> <coughs> what I am teaching you. So yeah, this, uh, our data is like uh, euros in millions. So I'll just divide this data by like million. And then I'll hit enter. So I'll get this as our net sales 14.5 uh, million euros for 2016. I'll just copy it and <coughs> paste it for the years. <coughs> I've pasted the formula so you can see the results. I'll just paste in whole of uh, the document of all the whole of the sheet. And here is the magic. So uh, this is the actual statement uh, of a company. What was the name of the company? I myself forgot it, but yeah, uh, this, this is like for financial 2016. It's net sales was 14.5 and total revenues it got like 22.5 and then gross margin was 18.1 earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization was 8.3 million euros and then ebit was earning before interest and tax was 6.3 ebt was 3.4 net income eventually the net income is like 2.9 so it earned 2.9 uh, euro million euros in 2016 and uh, uh, its revenue was I mean, net income was in minus for the year 2017 financial year 2017 which is like 
and then uh, again in 2018 it was like 0 0.8 so i hope you got it so uh, this is yes, actually uh, this is actually uh, exercise uh, where uh, we can you know build our uh, model uh, for a financial uh, sorry p and l statement uh, from very scratch okay just uh, now uh, since this part is over i'll just you know recapitulate the way of doing it though i did it in uh, the like a few minutes before only but just to show you like this was our <clears throat> initial data okay and uh, what we did first of all we you know you know from the parent company we re we remove uh, something written uh, account or something was there so we removed that data for every year then what we did we create a account number for all these things okay and then we create the uh, database uh, so for this p and l account partner company of the company we use vlookup function and then uh, to bring uh, the uh, yeah, uh, numerical values of financial year 16, 17, and 18, what we did, we use sum if function. See this function and uh, uh, we transferred this data and then we create uh, this mapping. We create uh, you know, uh, yeah, options here also and we, uh, I, I didn't show you how it is, how it has been done, but uh, I show you how uh, what was the final result? Uh, it was basically mapping the this P and L account with the actual account so that we can segregate it. This was and uh, this is how it is done. And then I created I copied all the um, all these mapping I, things from there and then arranged it in a way so that it looks like a P and L statement. Wherein, first of all, we uh, try to keep our, uh, you know, uh, revenues and then expenses. And then this is the main thing, EBDIT and this minus plus and this thing. And then I created the sum a formula uh, to, you know, bring all the things back. And, and our final result was like, it is, this is not the final result. Uh, so this was our final results for this. So uh, now, uh, uh, when we are done with creating this statement, what we have to do, you know, what is this? I'm inserting a chart. So sometimes, you know, this is so far no use. So let it be like this only. So, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the numbers are uh, too messy and they, do, they don't look like nice or if someone is like having a phobia of numbers so they prefer chart and always if you are presenting in front of such stakeholders of the company or anywhere you are presenting anything so it is always ideal to go with the chart so chart is a very important element in excel which can you know which can help uh, visualize data in more a professional way okay so mm, so this is in this uh, lecture uh, i have I, I'll, I'll cover only two things the first thing which i already did was like uh, mm, uh, that uh, uh, populating the p and l sheet with sum of function and then this is the second part of the lecture wherein i'll discuss different types of a chart available in the Excel. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to, you know, select the data. So for example, if I want to take it for like um, uh, net sales for the financial year, this is 16, 17, 18. This is error, but never mind. So uh, it does not impact our uh, results actually. So uh, this is the net sales for three consecutive years. What we have to do, we'll have to go to insert. And then the basic function or one of the most important function, which you know uh, this Excel has done in the recent past is to give this option of recommended charts for us. So based on our data type, 
okay based on our data type it will show us ki which uh, which type of uh, data uh, which type of you know uh, yeah which type of uh, chart is, is suitable for you and based on your suitability you can select one so like this is a clustered column and then clustered bar and then this is the line chart and this is the pie chart and this is the funnel chart so uh, for the simplicity for here we can you know, i'll just choose that net sales so it is showing that how the net sales uh, has been uh, across the year for three consecutive years so you know uh, by just looking at it we can uh, infer that uh, there is a you know huge variation between among the uh, you know net sales for 3 years and uh, and uh, this is the different types of uh, design it provides you can see it uh, so based on your uh, your uh, you know aesthetic sense or uh, the type of Uh, necessity you have you can always go with like different sort of uh, different styles of the charts so this is like a basic thing basic lecture wherein i taught you like how to insert a chart basic chart and now this is uh, my second second thing wherein i'll try to uh, try to uh, make you understand regarding the uh, regarding the uh, regarding this uh, uh, these charts actually so uh, what we have in this chart na is like you can see that there are two icons appearing at the top of the sheet if you can see it what is this yeah so uh, under you know under uh, chart tools there are two things chart design and chart format so uh, this is the chart design i showed to you there are there are different things which we can look up to and uh, uh, then if i'll have to show you at uh, for example if we want to you know uh, add an axis to it so so there are you know axis axis styles chart title uh, data labels data table so there are lot of lot of options available so based on our our understanding and our uh, usage we will select something so i'll just select the chart title and then you know or basically the yeah, axis titles and then the primary vertical i will select so i'll have an axis here so what i i can you know type the uh, title uh, <coughs> what it is uh, what it is meant to us is like this is it is showing euro in euro in millions so this is how we uh, we add title to our you know our uh, yeah yeah so mm, again uh, this is the this is the quick layout you know we can change based on our understanding these are the change if you want to change the color you can change the color of your sheets and one important thing is that uh, if if we want to you know change the axis of our data like converting x into y or y into x we can use this and if you want to you know select uh, if you want to change the selected data will go to the select data and then for example here only this data is selected now we can like do for two cells here okay the net sales and other revenues i just hit enter what three are selected okay it is horizontal we just keep it this way yeah so uh, now you can see uh, the two different data sets uh, sheets like net sales and other revenues have been given in this uh, okay uh, i mean this is the game uh, you can play with your uh, chart and you can come up with some, uh, with something like special for you so 
this is this uh, whole now since now this whole lecture is about charts only so this is what it is this is like formatting a chart or modifying a chart so uh, this is actually a um, already modified but what we have what we can do is like you know if we want to select the size modification is like in the if we want to change the uh, change the yeah, font uh, font of it if we want to make it like we want to write it uh, in new times roman we want to increase the size okay and we want to you know fill in the colors it is already known in colors we can change the colors based on it okay and we can fill the colors also how our data would look like so uh, these are the basic thing uh, basic thing which we can do in order to you know uh, modify our chart and uh, we can also you know format chart area also we can do so in formatting fill this is a basic thing which you should always do like border and line should be like no and then uh, also uh, we can oh sorry to okay na format chart area we can format the grid line also see these are the grid lines in our data so we can format it okay so we can format it like uh, we can have a solid line see there are various options available solid line gradient line automatic i'll go with the solid line and transparency i can keep for example i want to keep it 75% we can do it okay and we can just close it so see our grid line would change and if we want to you know uh, adjust the size oops adjust the size of our sorry uh, size of our chart we can like do it that way only where you want to as per your suitability and as per your requirement okay so it should not be boring for you but uh, these are the basic things uh you know you can do it uh, uh, anyways but if you have consistency in your presentation like uh, the font size you are taking is uh, unique or not unique but uh, uh, appropriate for each and every uh, for each and every chart you are using and the size you are using is like uh, uh, has a uniformity in itself so these things had an impact on your presentation so always try to uh, you know create a uh, create a uniformity uh, while dealing with data and numbers and while presenting to it for example you know the font uh, what is your favorite font size to be used in uh, chart and what is your format uh, favorite color to be used in chart what is the type of charts you are using and uh, how you want to uh, look this chart so uh, this is like ha huh, so this is the continuation of what we have left uh, uh, as i told you this is all about charts today so this is like uh, bridge chart so what is bridge chart a bridge chart you know uh, it is uh, it is a chart which shows how initial values is affected by the series of intermediate position or negative values so as the bridge itself suggests na kaise ek bridge uh, jo hai initial values aur uh, aur jo final values hai uske beech mein kaise affect karta hai to as usual we'll go with you know so there are data given net sales direct cost other operating expenses personal expenses other income and ebdit hmm. so we'll go to insert just give me a minute
yeah hello so uh, uh this is the data given to us i'll just select it and again i'll go to insert and uh, again what i'll do i'll go to the waterfall waterfall map this is the this is the waterfall map for us so this is how it looks like a bridge uh, gap uh, so are different variables which have been given in the sheet uh, in the data looks like this only so this is the net set net sales this is our direct expenses and then other operating expenses personal expenses and finally the ebdit so yeah this is the bridge chart for us and then i tree map tree map is also one of the most uh, you know uh, most re recent advancement in the excel uh, wherein you know if we have three uh, unique or distinct data sheets with us we can uh, we can come up with uh, with tree map tree map chart so uh, this is the data we have with us is like uh, name of the country and the city in the name of the country and the number of tourists visiting to that place so in that case where we have like three different uh, different uh, you know data sheets with us we can uh, always use a tree map chart again i'll select the data with us i'll click go to the insert option and this is the <laughs> and uh, yeah so if if i'll go i'll select it and you can see this icon this is the tree map can you see it yeah so this is our tree map data with us so it is showing that uh, uh, united kingdom as a country has the most number of visitors and venice as a city has the most number of tourists or you can always uh, you should always you know uh, give the titles for your for your sheets and in this like this is popular tourist destination for example tourist destination i know maybe the spelling is wrong but yeah uh this is how it looks like or isme there is one more i'll select the data oi dekh lo kaun sa tha tree map and sunburst so sunburst is like it would look like something like this only so you can use this also sometimes if you have uh, this sort of data wherein we can we'll have to you know create a tree map or three sort of data is are available with us and we have to uh, make it more uh, what we called it visualizable so visualization is important ha huh, now this is also one important type of graph is there like which is which we called as a spark line okay so a spark line is basically uh, you know is a miniature chart these are very small charts in nature in a cell that helps spot trends in the data which helps to identify the trends in the in the data provided to us okay so this is like uh, okay yeah so this is the data uh, given to us like uh, this is the sales data for three agent agent 1 agent 2 agent 3 and these are the sales uh, number for uh, november 14 this uh, december january so for uh, for one year how much uh, sales has been done by these three agents so if we'll just insert a quick uh, spark line to it we can see 
the trend of these results also. So I'll just give it a name. Trend, for example, I'll just say it a trend. Okay. And I'll go to insert. And these are the spark lines. Can you see it? The spark lines. Yeah. So if I just click on it, so there are like uh, varieties of options available to us. We want to do it by like in line through column, win or loss situations. Uh, generally, we do it when we have negative data with us. So uh, the suitability for us uh, in this data sheet is line data. We'll just see through a line. So this is the, the, there are two options. It would ask to us is like select a data range for the spark lines. So what is your data uh, data range for this? Uh, for this spark line is, is this for the agent, uh, agent one, our data is this from November 14 to August 15. I'll hit enter and select where to place the spark line. So it is already, you know, selected. We want to uh, create our spark lines here only. Okay, I just hit enter and okay. See, so this, I'll just increase the size so you, uh, to make you help understand it better. So this is the trend line. We can see that uh, how the agent uh, one sales data uh, was uh, for the uh, these uh, 10 or 11 months uh, sales created by this agent and if i'll just drag it little uh, for agent one two and three so we can see how these trend lines work okay koi bolne ki koshish kar raha hai ठीक है ओमकार यस सर तुमको ही बुलाना पड़ेगा तो या सो दिस इज हाउ वी सेट आर ट्रेंड लाइंस यूजिंग द स्पार्क लाइंस ओके सो यू नो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लोर इट बाय योर सेल्फ देयर आर लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शंस आई मीन सी सो दिस इज द स्पार्क लाइन you know you can edit your data from here you can have column win and loss situation so i'll put column it would show like this only if i'll go to uh yeah win and loss because there is no nine negative data so it would like this only i can select high point or low so high point you see high point are highlighted okay where are the high points in the data these are the low points in the data low points are uh, highlighted and then negative points since there is no negativity otherwise if there are uh, we have negative numbers it will also be there okay we can you know uh, point the first line first point or the last point see and the markers you so this is uh, this is the you know the game for you uh, as much as you would practice you will learn how to make it more attractive for your clients or customers or stakeholders and so these are the you know various various ways of uh, various designs for our spark line or trend line see there are this, these are very beautiful in nature you can change the color the spark line color you can change see marker color you can change so these are the things you have to uh, you have to put in uh, put in lot of efforts by yourself and try to dig deeper into all these things. I hope this is clear to you, na? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So now, if it is clear to you, I'll give you like some homework. I'll share these sheets with you, and you'll have to create. Yeah. So this is the ready chart. This is the ready chart with us, column stack chart. So uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll share it with you. And here you have to create the same chart. I mean, uh, with uh, with respect to the uh, with respect to the titles of the chart, how it looks 
like financial year and everything like uh, uh, yeah size font size font color everything should be like this only so i'll give this to you and uh, okay chalo this is the donor chart so this uh, i'll give to you also yeah so this is the donor chart for us so i'll just show you where it is this is in sir this is donor chart for us so yeah i'll have to, you have you have to insert this and then based on the information provided based on these ready chart for you you'll have to uh, uh, adjust this uh, this column uh, this chart for you and uh, you have to you know uh, make it as shown in the ready chart okay i'll just close this i'll share this also with you and then area chart hmm. so this is the ready chart for you area chart all the things are there only na just you just need to have एरिया चार्ट कहाँ इसी में कहीं होगा कॉलम लाइन फाइव एक्स वाई स्टेटिस्टिकल है आर की कॉम्बो एरिया एंड लाइन चार्ट सो दिस इस टू डी बार यू कैन से इट नो हैव टू से इट नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम एंड देन द ब्रिज चार्ट ब्रिज चार्ट तो तुमको बताया ही था मैंने The initial time, disable macro. Yeah, so this is the bridge chart. So uh, yeah, uh, hmm, hmm. so hmm, I'll just share these four files with you. Where in uh, a ready-made chart uh, is already available with you. Okay, and you have to prepare a chart based on the ready-made chart and the data provided. so try to add it and try to you know play with it so that you can learn uh, how to uh, how to you know how to create wonderful charts out of the data we uh, data we got okay so any one of you is working like right now working in some industries or in some financial companies you are like final semester student na so some of you might have got placements also Hmm. Omkar, are you employed? No, sir. So, I mean, uh, you have not have your uh, you know campus placement so far or what? So, we are still up to to some campus. Me, not have yet, sir. Now, but we are third semester students. We are now. Now, we are company. Okay, so third semester students. Oh, fourth semester. Ah, but in third me, he actually start. Hota hai na placement process. To. तो कोई भी तुम लोगों में से काम नहीं कर रहा है नन ऑफ यू इज वर्किंग चैतन्य तुम कर रहे हो बैंक में किस बैंक में हो नहीं समझ में आरबीएल इंडस्ट्रेंट लिख दो कोई किसी और को समझ में आया तो ओमकार तुमको समझ में आया क्या बोल रहा था किस बैंक में सर नहीं मतलब उसका आवाज तो ब्रेक हो रहा है सर उसका आवाज हां हां अच्छा अच्छा आ गया ये है ना पंदर पंदरपुर अर्बन बैंक तो कोई अच्छा तो व्हाट इज योर जॉब अब लेकिन तुम यार यही नहीं बता पा रहे हो तो जॉब रोल क्या बताओगे खैर अच्छा इसके अलावा कोई और नहीं है कोई और काम नहीं कर रहा है नहीं कर नहीं कर रहा होगा शायद 
ठीक है चलो तो ये लर्न एंड सो तभी मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि अगर तुम थोड़ा सा इसको सीरियसली ले लोगे और आ, मतलब एज अ कैशियर ओके ग्रेट तो uh, अगर सीरियसली लोगे तो एटलीस्ट यू वुड हैव सब समथिंग टू राइट ऑन योर सीवीज दैट यू नो फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग यू नो यू नो एक्सेल वेरी वेल अगर कुछ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन देना पड़े तो यू कैन डू इट फॉर यू और तो यार तुम लोग काम भी नहीं कर रहे हो तो घर पे कितने लेक्चर्स होते हैं तुम्हारे एक दिन में सर फाइव या एक तो ये कौन सा फिफ्थ है या इसके बाद या पहले है थर्ड है अरे तो फिर तो यार थोड़ा एक्टिव होना चाहिए तुम लोगों को यार आगे राहुल मैं भी यार राहुल और और अक्षता यार इतना क्या खौफ है मुझे ये समझ में नहीं आता यार हेलो मतलब इतना बोलने में क्यों कदर आते हो तुम लोग यार कैसे इंटरव्यूज हो गए मुझे लग रहा था शायद तुम लोग प्लेस वगैरह हो और तुम लोग काम कर रहे हो अपने अपनी कंपनीज में दैट इज वाई यू डो नॉट हैव लाइक यू आर नॉट दैट मच रिस्पॉन्स इफ यू आर सिटिंग एट होम एंड यू आर ओनली हैविंग फाइव क्लासेज इन अ डे मीन्स दैट यू शुड बी आर यू शुड बी पुटिंग लिटिल मोर एफर्ट्स कोई असर ही नहीं होता था <laughs> चलो ठीक है इफ इन केस यू वांट टू आस्क समथिंग और से समथिंग आई गॉट सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन हां बोलो ना यार सर फ्लेक्सल में हम अभी काम जो कर रहे हैं फॉर्म फाइनेंस मॉडलिंग का सर उसका कोई सर्टिफिकेशन हो गए हमें हमको मिल सकता है क्या बाहर से क्योंकि एक्सेल में कोई सर्टिफिकेशन होता है ना बहुत सारे आपके तो सर कौन से कौन से सर्टिफिकेट्स हमें एक्सेल में मिल सकते हैं तो तुमको फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग में चाहिए या एक्सेल पे चाहिए सर एक्सेल पे भी चाहिए मतलब एक्सेल पे ले लो तो ज्यादा बेहतर रहेगा हाँ आई शेयर इट विद यू अगर होगा तो जो भी होगा तो तुमको पेड करना है अनपेड करना है सर पेड भी चलेगा लेकिन गवर्नमेंट का सर्टिफिकेशन होगा ना सर एक्सेल का तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा हमारी इम्प्रूवमेंट के लिए आगे अच्छा अच्छा गवर्नमेंट सर्टिफिकेशन हाँ तो स्वयं वगैरह पे देखना पड़ेगा कि वो लोग करा रहे कि नहीं करा रहे लेकिन जैसे ये पता है मतलब एक्सेल वगैरह ये सॉफ्ट मतलब सॉफ्ट स्किल्स में ही है कहीं ना कहीं तो अगर तुमको इफ यू आर कंफर्टेबल डूइंग इट अगर तुमको आता है अगर इफ यू डू नॉट इफ यू डू नॉट हैव लाइक प्रॉपर सर्टिफिकेशन आल्सो देन इट्स आल्सो वर्क तो ऐसा कुछ नहीं है और अगर हाँ मतलब प्राइवेट में तो तुमको कहीं दिक्कत अगर गवर्नमेंट जॉब वगैरह के लिए तुमको करना है तो फिर समझ में आता है कि वो लोग इट रिक्वायर्स ये सर्टिफिकेशन वगैरह लेकिन अगर तुमको ऐसे प्राइवेट किसी कंपनी में करना है तो अगर तुमको आता है इफ अगर तुम्हारे पास सॉफ्ट मतलब ये वो भी नहीं है तब भी चल जाएगा काम लेकिन मैं फिर भी वो बता दूंगा तुमको जो भी अगर कुछ ऐसा सर्टिफिकेशन होगा तो नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम और किसी को कुछ पूछना है ये सर ये समझ में आ रहा है तुमको जो मैं पढ़ा रहा हूँ पहले ये बताओ मुझको यस सर हाँ ठीक है हाँ बताओ सर uh, और एक मुझे क्वेश्चन था कि अभी हमें जब इंडस्ट्री में काम करना अगर होगा एम में तो वहाँ पे टाइपिंग वगैरह भी बहुत लगता है सर तो टाइपिंग सर्टिफिकेशन आ जाए इज रिक्वायर्ड और नॉट सर्टिफिकेशन तो देखो किसी चीज का जरूरत नहीं है मैं तुमको बता रहा हूँ तुम एक सिर्फ पेज ऑफ पेपर लेकर जाओगे अपना सीवी का एंड यू विल क्रैक इट अगर तुम्हारे पास टैलेंट होगा तो तुमने पचास सर्टिफिकेशन लिखे हुए हैं एंड यू डोंट नो हाउ टू यूज देम तो फिर वो इट इज ऑफ नो यूज उस कंपनीज का देखो उन सर्टिफिकेशन पर भरोसा नहीं होता अगर कुछ इस तरीके की कंपनी होगी तो दे विल डेफिनेटली आस्क यू टू डू इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ डेम तो वो तुमको सामने ही कराएंगे अगर तुमको ऐसी किसी फाइनेंशियल कंपनी में जाना है तो तुमको वो दे जैसे होता है ना ये टेस्ट होते हैं साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट होता है फाइनेंशियल एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट होता है रीजनिंग टेस्ट होता है इसी में ही अगर टाइपिंग से रिलेटेड कुछ इंटेंसिव काम है तो वो वहां पे करवाएंगे और वहां पे रिकॉर्ड करेंगे तुम्हारा वो सर्टिफिकेशन से कुछ ऐसा असर नहीं पड़ता है खास प्रोवाइडेड कि अगर तुमको आता है वो अगर तुमको तुम्हारे दिल को पता है और तुमको पता है कि हाँ मुझे आता है तो फिर यूल क्रैक इट अगर नहीं है तो सर्टिफिकेशन पचास भी होंगे तब भी किसी फायदे का नहीं और ये तो खैर आजकल जरूरी है यार मतलब मतलब टाइपिंग स्पीड ज्यादा होना चाहिए एक्सेल एडवांस एक्सेल थोड़ा सा आना चाहिए पीपीटी अच्छी बनाना आना चाहिए 
इस तरीके की चीजें ठीक है ओके थैंक यू सर और कोई साहब साहब सुन गए चलो ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच अगर यार बस मुझे थोड़ा सा इस बात का एहसास दिला दे रो कि तुमको समझ में आ रहा है बाकी मुझे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मुझे तुम्हारी आवाज सुनने का इतना शौक नहीं है <laughs> तो अगर मुझे ये लगता है कि तुमको समझ में आ रहा है तो आई फील मोटिवेटेड अगर ऐसा लगेगा मुझे कि समटाइम आई फील आई फील लॉस्ट ना कि मतलब वेदर यू आर ऑन द सेम लाइन एज मी और और यू आर जस्ट नॉट गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम टीचिंग यू सो जस्ट यू नो बाय वे ऑफ यू नो लिटिल एक्टिव ड्यूरिंग द क्लास बाय वे ऑफ स्पीकिंग और राइटिंग और एनीवेज एनी मींस यू जस्ट लेट मी नो दैट यू आर गेटिंग इट और नॉट ओके चलो थैंक यू सो मच कल मिलते हैं बाय टेक केयर